Same-sex married couples will soon have more rights than ever before. The announcement comes after U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder following the landmark Supreme Court ruling last June that struck down a key part of the Defense of Marriage Act. Fox 28 News reporter Mugo Odigwe joins us now to explain what this will mean for same-sex married couples here in Iowa. Even though the Supreme Court ruling was made eight months ago, the Justice Department's move to apply it is barely coming now. I spoke with a same-sex couple who says that all that really matters is that changes will be made. Well, the three branches of government. For Jen Roray and Rita Deveni, this is the perfect picture. Ew. I want my kids to be raised in an environment and uh, just a world where uh, people respect each other's relationships. They've been together for almost 14 years and married for four. They have six children. And now things are about to get easier for the family. On Monday, the Justice Department will issue a memo to its employees. It will command them to give lawful and same-sex marriages full and equal recognition to the greatest extent under the law. I think it's great. Uh, right now when we travel with the kids, we carry a packet of information stating not only that we're legally married, but that we have... Uh, the rights to the kids. The move allows same-sex married couples to file for bankruptcy jointly. It also qualifies them for a number of benefit programs run through the Justice Department. And even though it's taken this long to get things rolling, Jen says it's worth it. My biggest concern is legally taking care of my children, taking care of her if anything were to happen. I want to make sure the house goes to her. I want to make sure the kids are taken care of. She says it's all about making sure her children can see the big picture. I want them to just know that it's okay and as long as you have a parent or two parents that love you, that's really all that matters. Now the changes only apply to those same-sex couples who are legally married under the law. Mugo Odigwe, Fox 28 News.